Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump laughs as Obama finds out exactly how John Kerry helped kill the Iran deal. President Donald Trump is laughing after Barack Obama recently found out exactly how John Kerry helped kill the Iran deal. This is weapons-grade buffoonery you won't want to miss. Former President Barack Obama released a whiny statement on Tuesday, May 8, 2018, following an announcement by President Donald Trump that he had just put the Iran deal through the shredder, killing it once and for all. What likely came as a shock to the White House flunky was finding out along with the rest of America that John Kerry played a key role in Trump's decision to axe the Iran deal. According to Breitbart, Obama's statement was riddled with claims that the Iran deal was working and that Iran was in compliance with the agreement. Obama also accused the Trump administration of putting America's credibility at risk which is ironic in a tragic sort of way after Obama himself made a colossal mess of our relationships with countries such as Israel and Egypt. Speaking about Trump's declaration on killing the Iran deal, Obama said, that is why today's announcement is so misguided. Walking away from the JCPOA turns our back on America's closest allies and an agreement that our country's leading diplomats, scientists, and intelligence professionals negotiated. In a democracy, there will always be changes in policies and priorities from one administration to the next. But the consistent flouting of agreements that our country is a party to risks eroding America's credibility, and puts us at odds with the world's major powers. It's rich to hear Obama talk about the subject of eroding America's credibility. To my point, Obama's former Secretary of State John Kerry was revealed to have been conducting hush-hush meetings with Iranian officials, world leaders, and members of Congress in an attempt to save the Iran deal because, for Kerry, one failure is never enough. In my opinion, Idiots like Obama and Kerry have been the true culprits behind eroding America's credibility with fake red lines and backroom meetings. According to Daily Caller, a source inside the White House who is familiar with President Donald Trump's thinking on the Iran deal said that Kerry helped kill the nuclear agreement with his imbecilic meddling. I wonder how many doors or chairs Barack Obama kicked when he learned that John Kerry's shadow government activities helped put an end to the bad deal with Iran. The source inside the White House told Daily Caller that Trump decided to put the nail in the coffin of the deal when he learned of Kerry's behind-the-scenes meetings. Trump was headed that way, but Kerry just took away any of the teeth of the detractors, the source said. Kerry's bullsh t ultimately killed the deal. I think Kerry's bullsh t may possibly be the two best paired words I've ever read. Obviously fed up with Kerry's bullsh t, Trump blasted the former Secretary of State on Twitter a day before he killed the Iran deal, saying, the United States does not need John Kerry's possibly illegal shadow diplomacy on the very badly negotiated Iran deal. He was the one that created this mess in the first place. On Tuesday, Trump gave Kerry another solid verbal beating that he truly deserved after announcing the end of the Iran deal. John Kerry can't get over the fact that he had his chance and blew it. Stay away from negotiations John, you are hurting your country. Trump wrote. Both John Kerry and Barack Obama need to accept the fact that they are the ones responsible for the mess Donald Trump is cleaning up. In addition, Obama should come to terms with the fact that America voted his party and their destructive way of doing things out of office. When will political elites understand that the people will define the country and its credibility by the leaders they choose to make these important decisions? It's almost as if Obama ignored an entire segment of life where Trump campaigned with the promise to end the Iran deal. America never wanted it. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.